Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick video. I didn't think I would be doing this, but I thought I'd share it with you. So as you know, I like to add pumpkin seed and flax seed to all of my meals. They're great for omegas. And I'm gonna show you how I prepare it. And this time I'm gonna add in hemp seeds as well. All fantastic omegas. Okay, so um, I have these raw pumpkin seeds. I got them at Trader Joe's and you see the bag is half, more than half empty. Um, you need to put all this stuff in the freezer because there's oils in it and it can get rancid. So keep it in your freezer. And these are raw, there's no salt in it. So I'm gonna put all this in the mother of all mothers <laughs> of blenders. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a Vitamix. If you wanna get a Vitamix, I would suggest you not get this, but get the one that has the two, whatever these things are called, what are the containers? Because now they have them with a wet container and a dry container. But it, it, this works fine for me. Anyway, I'm just gonna dump all of these in here. So those are the pumpkin seeds. And then the flax seed, I also get this at Trader Joe's. And it is ground up, but I want everything to, you know, be mixed together. Just like when I do my supplement of the seaweed calcium, you want that to be evenly distributed. So I'm gonna put that in here. And I'm glad I'm emptying out my kitchen. And I've never used hemp parts before, but I'm gonna put some hemp parts in, because that's supposed to be very good too. Okay, and that's all you do. And I, I will keep this in the refrigerator because my daughter uses this. But if you're not gonna be using like the pumpkin seeds or flax seeds, put that in your, your freezer. I was gonna put this on there. <laughs> Anyway, so now you put on the top, and you gotta be really careful how you put on the top. And by the way, uh, Vitamixes are expensive. There's also a blend, blend Tex, and that's a very good mixer as, as well. It, 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 you know, it compares to the Vitamix. Um, but please don't get one of these cheap ones. I mean, I have one at the lake that I'm gonna have to be using when I go up there in a few days, and it's a Ninja. I love Ninja products, but I don't know, it's okay. I love this. Okay, so I have this plugged in and I have it turned on, turned on, and let's see what happens. And it's done. <clears throat> It's, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it's all done. And I'm just gonna pour it into here. This is my container, and I am going to put it in the freezer. Now there's one or two bits in here, so I just may do it one more time, because I don't want Bella to be swallowing, um, you know, a seed. That's not good. It's also not good to give your dog popcorn. Now, Popcorn is fine, but you gotta be careful because the kernel in the popcorn after you pop it, it can get stuck in the dog's throat. I mean, that happened to me with my other Bijan. She loved, excuse me, he loved popcorn. I said, she, because Miss Bella just walked in here. Come here, sweetie, let's say hi, everybody. Bella loves popcorn too. But um, we gave him, it was like one kernel of popcorn. And oh my God, he was, coughing for like four hours. And I was like, what the heck? And he was like spitting some stuff up. So what I did, I got a piece of bread. I never give, you know, the dog's bread, but I gave him a piece of bread and that made him swallow it and the kernel went down and he wasn't, um, you know, choking anymore. So anyway, how you doing Miss Bella? Yeah, my baby loves me and I love my baby. I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, and I'm, I think this is gonna be my last video until I get to the lake. Okay, see ya.